of the Nakuru War Memorial Hospital were denied entry into the facility despite a court order directing the resumption of services at the facility. County enforcement officers ejected staff from the hospital in a raid that saw patients transferred from the facility on Tuesday. As NTV's Ruth Samway now reports, the hospital remained under tight watch of Nakuru County enforcement officers after a forceful takeover by the county government five days ago. Dozens of employees of the Nakuru War Memorial Hospital who arrived at the hospital expecting to resume their duties camped outside the hospital gate for hours after county enforcement officers denied them entry. I'm an officer of the court. Yes. The arrival of Moses Mbuthia, the Nakuru local process server a few minutes past noon, came as a reprieve for workers only for the uniformed officers to refuse to receive the order requiring Nakuru police commander Samuel Danyi to facilitate a smooth handover. They have also refused to receive the court orders. Now we don't know what to do because we can't even access the place. The court ordered that uh, War Memorial Hospital be allowed to run their affairs and they have refused us to serve the court order. Mbuthi was forced to serve the order from Justice Millicent Odeng by pinning it on the hospital's main gate. The officers manning the gate indicated they were waiting for directions from their boss, the Nakuru County Police Commander. We have to wait up tomorrow when the matter is being mentioned before the same judge for further directions. One of the 17 patients who was transferred from Nakuru War Memorial Hospital to another facility died while receiving treatment in the new facility, according to Priscilla Musale, the matron in charge of Nakuru War Memorial. Unfortunately, I got a, a call this morning that one of the patients passed on, but uh, I can't say what exactly happened. Musale, who says her life is in danger due to the ongoing tussle, recorded a statement at the Captembo police station after receiving calls and text messages from an unknown person on Monday night, hours before police stormed into the facility, harassing staff and transferring patients. I swear. Hey. 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 I know, I hey, know, hey. I know that they are recording the call, that's the call. Hey. But what I'm telling you is this. Hey. After Mutumoja Kikufa Kwayo Hospital, you know, you will know, you know, you know the power, you will know. We hope the police will take up the issue. With the seriousness it concerns. The Law Society of Kenya officials from Nakuru say they are compiling a case on the violation of right to health based on admitted patients who were forcefully transferred to other facilities. We will actually be focusing on what resulted in perhaps the negligence that uh, led to the death of uh, the, the, the parent to our colleague. The tussle over the ownership of the 25-acre piece of land has had Nakuru Senator Tabitha Karanja weighing in on the matter, blaming Governor Susan Kihika for fronting court directives. Based on the above grounds and reasons, these are enough for impeachment and therefore I ask the MCAs to do their job. Our visit to the Nakuru Police Commander's Office for a comment was futile. The police boss is said to have been engaged in other duties and was not available. Ruth Sarmoy, NTV, in Nakuru.